So today we're going to talk about the connection between allergies and something going wrong in your stomach. And it has to do with losing the acidity of the acid in your stomach. Normally, the pH in the stomach should be between 1 and 3. That's extremely acid. In fact, it's a, a million times more acid than your blood. And the purpose of this acid is, number one, to help you digest protein. And by the way, to have a true allergy, there must be a protein involved. And when you have undigested protein, that goes down into the digestive system. And if you have at the same time leaky gut, it goes right in and your immune system starts tagging it inappropriately uh, and creating a hypersensitivity, creating an allergy. Number two, it, the acid helps sterilize microbes. Okay, I'm talking viruses, bacteria, yeast, fungus, candida. So if you're consuming some of these microbes in the food that you're eating, um, they should be dealt with at the stomach level and not allowed to go deeper through the system where they can create all sorts of problems. All right, number three, it helps you absorb minerals. And we need minerals for so many different chemical reactions in, in the body. Uh, but if you can't absorb calcium, magnesium, selenium, zinc, copper, iron, your immune system will suffer. And that alone can increase the susceptibility to getting allergies and even asthma. So if you really look up the data on low stomach acids, one of the terms you're going to run up against is called hypochlorhydria, okay? And you're going to see a bunch of symptoms that can occur from having low stomach acids. One is gas, indigestion, burping, bloating, and right here, allergies, okay? Cause, effect. A deficiency of B12, increased candida, and then we have some, a condition called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth where the microbes are growing in the small intestine instead of the large intestine. And if your pH is too weak, if your acid levels are too high, too alkaline, then it's going to be really hard to kill off the microbes that could be invading and start growing into the uh, small intestine. And also acid reflux. Okay, these are all the symptoms of low stomach acid. Here are some causes. Number one, hypothyroidism. Number two, a low salt diet. Why? Sodium chloride. Chloride is needed to make hydrochloric acid. Antibiotics, antacid. Also, gastric bypass can create the situation because you're altering the, the volume of the stomach. Uh, and then you have something called H. pylori, which is a microbial infection, which can inhibit gastric acids and low amounts of vitamin B3. So all of these have the potential to weaken the acid or create a deficiency of acid in your stomach. Now, one test you can do to determine your pH of your stomach is the Heidelberg test. Now, when I was practicing in my clinic, there was a test that we would do um, involving taking a little capsule um, with a string on it, okay? And you'd have the person swallow this capsule with some water and you would hold the string outside the mouth and it would actually go all the way down in the stomach and we'd have them lay on their right side for about 15 minutes. And then we'd pull up the string and then we would actually identify the pH of the little capsule. Okay, so we can determine that. And quite a few people who had these symptoms right here um, did not, were not even close to having a pH of one to three. They were like a four or even a five, which is interesting. Now, I couldn't find this test anymore. I don't know where to get it. Um, so. A much easier way to do this would be simply, actually it's even a lot cheaper too, just to take the remedies to assume you have this and see if your allergies improve, okay? What are the two remedies? Betaine hydrochloride and apple cider vinegar. These two remedies will help you acidify the stomach to reestablish the normal pH that you should have between one and three. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna get into dosages or how long you have to take it because I don't know your situation. So go ahead and just read the directions on the label and just go with that right now. But the main point is that if your allergies are being triggered by this situation and you take these, you're gonna feel some relief. All right, thanks for watching. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.